Yes, to echo your words, we are so happy to have you all back. Could there be a better place to welcome back college football than a sold-out big house? Welcome to ESPN College Football, presented by Marathon. And welcome back to the Big Ten on ESPN. We have been waiting nearly two years to say this, not just to Michigan fans, but to college football fans everywhere. Welcome home. Shotgun with Hassan Haskins to his left. First carry for Haskins. And he pulls over a runner. Now to about the coordinator Josh Gaddis saying that one of the things he loves about McNamara is emotionally committed to the position. Haskins again. Stood up by Ali Fayad after a gain of a couple. It'll be third down. Favorite matchup? Does that guy win? Let me get him the ball. It's a blitz off the edge. There's the slant. The tight end Eric Ball has it for a first down great leadership and bright future for this season. McNamara with flags down. Long sideline shot past the sticks coming back to make the catch and that looks to be good enough for a first down to Cornelius Fantastic Johnson. throw, fantastic catch. Now here's Blake Cora. He knights his way into the secondary and all the way down inside the 30. Close to the 25 yard line brought down at the 27. An 18 yard game for Blake Cora. Watch the middle of the line of scrimmage. Body on a body, awesome job with the motion. Corum, speedster, finds the hole and punches through. And right back at the line, Corum dives for two. That's three straight for Corum. And this time, he's able to get inside the 25, down at the 20, drop back off. Yeah, and that's what they're doing, trying to get a tell from the defense. Now let's communicate our play and snap it. And they'll run it with Corum. And now a decision early in this game for Michigan. It's going to be fourth down and at least a yard and a half, maybe two in the red zone. And here comes Hassan Haskins. And here come the big bodies to block for him. Jim Harbaugh did not hesitate. He sent his number one running back and extra tight ends out there for fourth down and about a yard and a half. He's got the first down. Inside the 15, down to the 14. McNamara led offense. Corum back in, 11th play of the drive. McNamara swings at the court. Blocker's out in front. He's at the 10. He's at the pylon. He's in for a Michigan touchdown. goes for it on fourth down and about a yard and a half. Hassan Haskins got it. Blake Corum, the exclamation. Play action. And a flip out to Sky Moore. He's got nowhere to go. Well, he was dropped by Vincent Gray immediately. Flags over. Down. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Defense number 55 for Taunting. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. That was going to be a point of emphasis this season. And David Ojabo came over and had something to say after the tackle by Vincent Gregg. There's Ojabo right there. <laughs> He's playing emotional. Time the blitz comes. One on one down the sideline. Climbing the ladder is Jalen Hall to pull it in just outside the 20 yard. Very impressive march to try and answer the Michigan touchdown for Western Michigan. Sean Tyler to his right. A little spin out bootleg. Drop it off to the back. 
Inside the 10 yard line goes Sean Tyler. And he's out of bounds at the five. Clock down to four. They clock at two. They just get it off. Zone read. Ellaby gets loose. Looking for the goal line. Reached the ball out and lost it. He was down. They will say he was down inside the two. Hill Green cut him down around the end. If they want to run down to the bottom of the screen, got some space. It'll be a straight ahead run and set for Ladarius Jefferson. And he's in for a Broncos touchdown. Western Michigan answers. And we're a point after away from the top. An 11-play opening touchdown drive for Michigan. Western Michigan answers with a 10-play 75-yard touchdown. It's a beautiful job by the offensive line to beat Ohio State. Blake Corum brings it out. Good return. Getting better all the time. Blake Corum is tough to catch in the open field. All the way down to the 20-yard line before he's finally knocked out of bounds. Dick Myrtle saved the touchdown. What's Gumby's best friend? Melting candle. Yeah, melting candle, perfect. Good job, McNamara. Sees pressure, communicates the offensive line. Tipped ball. Incomplete. Looked like it was deflected at the line by Ralph Pollard. Askins bottled up right at the line of scrimmage. Orvin Moment got there first. Get three points out of that return. And they're going to play conservative. And Corum bobbing and weaving his way for whatever he can pick up. And it will be a field goal attempt off of the 79-yard kickoff return. Yeah, Pop, I don't mind that green offense. Jake Moody from 37. He's got it. That's still a win for Western Michigan. No doubt. In a big, big way. No doubt. I mean, to get that kickoff return, to make sure you get the stop, is a great job by the Broncos defense. But at the end of the day, Michigan gets the ball back, gets themselves into an opportunity to make their field goal, and they're up 10-7 at home. First quarter. In all of college football last year, behind only Mac Jones and yeah. Zach Wilson. But just think about this. You're on the road at Michigan. You're a sophomore. One of the best defensive ends in the country is bearing down on you, and you don't blink. Swing pass to Sean Tyler. That goes nowhere. Dax Hill helped out by this Hutchinson. Environment, we're good at that position for a long time. Soft coverage to the field again. You got a good run look off to the right side of the offensive line. Here comes the blitz. Ellaby steps up. Got a lane to run. And picks up about two yards, maybe two and a half. Ellaby sees it. And here it comes off the edge. Ellaby, long throw to the sideline. Incomplete. Over the head of Sky Moore, and Sky Moore's hurt. He just limped off to the sideline. So now it's fourth down and seven. Here comes a blitz. McNamara, one on one shot down the sideline, looking for Ronnie Bell. Stop. Pulls it and win! And a flag thrown as well. A ridiculous catch by Ronnie Bell. Was he in bounds? It may not matter. He may have pushed off. I think that left arm. That catch is ridiculous. I think they're going to call offensive pass interference, and I don't like it. Pass interference. Offense number eight. 15-yard <laughs> penalty from the previous spot. Repeat third down. The pistol. Darius Jefferson behind. Jefferson will take it. And he'll up about four. And Chris, it's a shorthanded <laughs> offense now. Their receptions West. last year. He's their leading receiver returning this year. Certainly Ellaby's favorite receiver so far today. He was second team all Mac last year. Ellaby out of the pocket. Extends the play. And pushed out just short of the first down by David Ajabo. You can get some picks and rubs if you want to turn to your pass game. And his third down and two keep Michigan out of a lot of that kind of Star Wars and NFL stuff they want to do. Great point, 100%. They're three for four on third down. Now they're three for five. Sean Tyler's nowhere. That time the Wolverines owned the line of scrimmage as Mike Morris, Josh Ross, Hutchinson, they were all there. Big time push by the interior of that defensive line. 
Hutchinson with just a ridiculous swim move over the top. Saban Morris. losing or missing an Alabama game. Lane is their play caller, and so you're losing you know, one of the best play callers in college football. That's going to have an impact in that game Monday night. Second down and nine for Michigan. McNamara slips one out in the right flat to Eric All. The tight end reaches across the 23, close to the 24-yard line. It'll be third down and three. Play clock down to five. McNamara trying to identify the blitz if it's coming. It does not. He's going to take a shot. Looking for Ronnie Bell. Bell's got it. Breaks free. And walk to the end zone. 76 yards. That's a Michigan touchdown. I loved it. McNamara sees the pressure. Also saw the matchup. He's no got doubt. Ronnie Bell on a safety. Gives him a chance. Ronnie Bell's in the slot. Run by the safety, untouched. Go track down that football. Put your team up 10 at home. I had to get it. Had to get it. That was good. You were planning on working that in. That's well executed. Here comes a blitz up the middle. That was picked up. Kincaid leaks out of the backfield, but he's got nowhere to go. As Dax Hill closed quickly. And made the stop at the line of scrimmage for Nosey. Right now, Western Michigan without their best wide receiver. Ellaby out of the pocket and has to throw it away under pressure. Now Michigan's defense follows up the touchdown with a three and out. The unit better be on it right now. Nick Mahala does not want to kick this one to Bell, and instead it's a line drive right to him. He could be dangerous. He finds a crease. Finally brought down at the 31-yard line of Western Michigan. A worst-case scenario, a line drive to a dangerous return man, giving your group no time no. to get down the field, and now Ronnie Bell is hurt. For an injured player. No. I just hate to see it. Ronnie Bell has led Michigan in catches and yards two consecutive seasons. Michigan's last touchdown, the longest catch of his career, just made another terrific play. A return on special teams. Man hurts his knee and had to be helped off the field a moment ago. So now, Michigan, without their best offensive player, in plus territory, here's Hassan Haskins. Runs a man down. The 22-yard line. Got a yard shy of a first down as Bryson Garner. Same time, there's got to be a part of you that triggers to the next, okay, I've got to get to a football game. Haskins on third down, breaks free, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. switch to understand I got to go play that game and you could see the physicality of the offense the physicality of Haskins as a runner while they might be thinking about Ronnie Bell I got to go job to go do great job by the starters the center getting that push and then Haskins not getting tackled by the safety good push find a seam run with your eyes and then balance on contact that left hand goes to the ground big time physical run by 25 Fourth and third down here. Bootleg for Ellaby. He'll run for it and get it. Pays the price as he is laid out. But he got the first down. One man rush. Ellaby's going to take a shot one on one. Threw it down the chimney and Jalen Hall could not haul it in. That looked like a terrific throw from Ellaby and a chance for Jalen Hall to make a game changer. Just try to catch it as it falls. Ellaby. Up the seam, under through Corey Cruz. Now it'll be third down. Aiden Hutchinson just put right guard Deathridge on absolute skates. Watch 97 versus the right guard or the center or nobody. <laughs> hey man, you might want to block the number one defensive end in college football this year. Can we get a body on that guy?
Ellaby started six of eight. He is three for nine since for 21 yards. Ten. Again, he's without Sky Moore. Here comes the Michigan blitz. Ellaby off his back foot, hoists one down the sideline. Under throw, 50-50 ball. Batted around. Flag. His team lose arguably their best player in Ronnie Bell. And yet here they are with the football back in Blake Corum. Got a terrific first half on the swing pass, picking up seven yards. And I think he's going to really pay attention to the end of this half and second half is how well are we playing as we get tired? Corum hurdles across the 50-yard line for a Michigan first down. It only counts 12 times, and the commitment to doing that as the players has been a focus of their offseason. Corum picks up five more. But when your offense is in that rhythm that you talked about, we don't need to be patient. Let's continue to put our foot on the gas. Corum again. Now Mike Hart joins. That Mike didn't have. Now it's Hassan Haskins. Into the secondary. He's got 11, maybe 12 more. It's another Michigan first down. Another run for Haskins, bouncing it outside the traffic. Hurdles a man, and he's close to a first down. It'll be third down and one, under a minute to go. And we'll see if Michigan even feels it necessary to take a timeout here. I'd get to the line of scrimmage, but watch. Haskins gets stunned up a little bit. Okay, again, get through that contact now. Hop! I'd go quick and quarterback sneak. And they do just that, and now maybe Jim Harbaugh will spend a timeout. Yep. Yep. Both of them obviously want to go win that football game tonight. Ninth play of the drive, Cora reverses field. He's at the five-yard line, down to about the four. Timeout. Was 95th in America running the football. So after the timeout, they'll run it here with Haskins. He'll move the pile down to about the one-and-a-half-yard line. They can still get a first down. 20 seconds on the clock. Pop pass. And they still have a timeout. And now Haskins gets caught behind the line. Now it will be fourth down. So I guess you'll let the clock wind all the way down. He kicks out from Jake Moody. Moody knocks it through. Six seconds to go in the half. And it's now a 20-point lead. I love hearing a teammate speak about his quarterback in that aspect. We're watching the leadership for this offense kind of play itself out on the field for the Wolverines. There's Eric All down the sideline. And he's got about six. And Eric All. The vocalness of, hey, I like this, or I don't like this. Getting everybody together has become such a big deal for Kay McNamara's journey. End around to A.J. Henning, and a big play. Henning, can he stay in bounds? Gets a block. He'll take it the distance. 74 yards. An end around Michigan touchdown. I love the formation, and I love the play call by Josh Gaddis. They've been in this formation, bunch, play fake, and then they get Henning on the reverse. You get sawed off in the open field. Watch the effort downfield by Haskins. Find somebody to peel, black, peel back and block on. That's not a block in the back because he got his head in the front. Dan Bellarian, the third-string quarterback, to run a two-point play. Quarterback draw, and Bellari is stopped at the two-yard line. So Michigan trying to score. Tyler again, breaks a tackle, there he goes again. All the way down close to the red zone, brought down to the 21-yard line. First time they've moved the ball in quite a while against this Michigan defense. The touchdown they scored was on their first drive of the game. Ellaby has knocked away by Hutchinson. And going back to cover up for his quarterback was Mark Brooks, the right tackle, to make sure that the Broncos didn't lose the football. Hutchinson at the bottom of the screen. This is the downside to running some RPOs, okay? If the quarterback pulls it to go throw, this is going to be a bad situation. If your offensive lineman, your right tackle whiffs, and 97 becomes essentially unblocked, hang on. No Ellaby has no shot there to hold on to that football. That's a little bit of the caveat with RPOs. Is it's great if you pull it and you hit it, but if someone gets beat and they're thinking it's a run, quarterback pulls it to throw, that ball's got to come out. Ellaby under pressure again, finds a crosser, Jalen Hall. He's well this short. This is for the Broncos offense. That ball batted down at the line. 
Uh, field goals aren't going to do too much for Western Michigan, but fourth down and 12, you're almost compelled just to take the three. If you made it fourth down and manage transfer from Northwest Missouri State, just brought into the program this year, Parker Sampson from 40 yards out, and that's deflected at the line and blocked. So Western Michigan with Hutchinson making another play. This time he deflects the field. J.J. McCarthy, the number two pro-style quarterback in America, according to our ESPN recruiting rankings. And he, as a true freshman, steps on the field for the first time. They said they wanted to get him some playing time. And he is out there handing it off to another freshman, Jonathan Edwards. Michigan on top big. And just a nice moment a moment ago. Cade McNamara wishing him well. And then the head coach brings such a different kind of look. We are going to see some wow plays out of number nine with his athleticism this afternoon. Again, it's Edwards. Cuts back for six offensive linemen and a couple of tight ends. And Hassan Haskins taking the handoff on third down. He's got the first down. Now to about the 35-yard line. Here comes the blitz. And there is his first attempt. Easy swing pass to Donovan Edwards spot. Orlovsky-esque. <laughs> Edwards. You just Five. like that to go get a croissant. Exactly. You searched for croissant there, but you found it. That was good. Third down and four. They set the screen up and sniffing it out. Washington football team from the Pac-12. It's really good. And around. Roman Wilson. He's got blockers out in front. A.J. Henning scored a touchdown on a long end-around run. And here's a terrific game for Roman Wilson across the 50-yard line. He picks up 40. I like that. Snap, point. I like that ownership of that line of scrimmage, communication. And ripping one over the middle is J.J. Okay. Uh, McCarthy for a first down. To AJ he goes Hennig. a fiery first down signal. Feeling good about that play on third down. Corum bounces it outside. Corum looking for the end zone again. He's got another Michigan touchdown. Second of the day for Blake Corum. Watch the vision. The vision of Blake Corum, I and mean, this ball is handed off dead behind that center. Vision cut. Make a guy miss. BYOB, be your own blocker, put 26 on skates. A little LT into the end zone. Guy in the hole, he can make a miss on a consistent basis. You got a run game. I always hear people say, well, this guy can make all the throws. I don't care. I don't care <laughs> if you can make all the throws you got to make the right throw at the right time there's plays right the coach calls a play the defense wins you got to go above the x's and o's you got to be a creator a patrick mahomes a josh allen that's a huge part of the development at that position nowadays he loses the football here it comes out sideways and i think they're going to say that ralph holly caused a fumble there on jj mccarthy time to get them exactly developed in the in the way that you hope this might be a free play for Throw mccarthy it. He's looking downfield, fires a rope over the middle, another flag is thrown. Coached by my boy Ron Bellamy, the secondary coach for the Wolverines. He goes again. And he's got a couple, and a first down. Four-man rush on third and 25, out of the pocket, McCarthy keeps the play alive. Long throw, across the field, he drops it! The first for J.J. McCarthy is a Wolverine. I mean, this is the wow play by McCarthy. Don't do this. Don't do this. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Oh, yeah. Do that. What a freakishly athletic play by J.J. McCarthy. By McCarthy. You know, the big house is incredible. Until you're here for a live game, you can't understand how, the magnitude of the size, how cool of a venue it is, and how much the fans actually impact. 
You know, the game is great, but it is nothing without the fans. Something in the world outside of maybe Euro soccer needs the fans as much as college football does, and certainly here in Ann Arbor. What we learned last year was we are all a part kind of of the skeleton of college football, the players. Obviously, they're the product. We bring it to you. But the blood that the comes game. through the heart of college football yeah. are the fans. And it's just so tremendous to have college football and these buildings looking the way that they're supposed to look and the fans back. Dominant performance by Michigan as we go down to Chris Bud. Coach, over 500 yards on the ground. What did you think about the way your offense worked today, particularly under Cade in his first start today? Uh, I thought it was really good balance. Uh, yeah, we were about 300 and change on the ground and 216 in the air. I thought it was a uh, good balance. Defensively, the first time in this system, what did you learn about the way they played today? Um, I thought it was good. I thought it was real good for first time out. And, uh, you know, can't fall in love with your stuff because because you can get better. So uh, that'll be our approach going forward. Speaking of getting better, the schedule ramps up. I don't have to tell you that. What do you need to work on this week? Just about everything, really. I mean, uh, play the first game. Now you know where you're at. And uh, things to work on. There's, uh, there's, a, there's about a half dozen, I'm thinking, right now. But uh, we'll attack everything this week.